Welcome back. Bringing home your baby for the first time is exciting, but can also be a little stressful. One New Hampshire organization looks to help new parents with that. Joining us live now is Karen Morton, Executive Director of Good Beginnings. Hi there, Karen. Hi there. Thanks so much for being here. So tell us about Good Beginnings. It's, it's a wonderful service that you guys provide. Yes, we think so. We, we're located in the Upper Valley. We mm -hmm. serve about a 40-mile radius of the, our West Lebanon office. Um, any families with new babies. Uh, and um, we provide in-home volunteer visitors to visit a family of a new baby for about 12 weeks, um, once a week for two to three hours. And just to provide an extra set of helping hands, um, help um, do some chores around the house, or just provide conversation for new parents, particularly someone staying home a lot. Right, and, and it can be an overwhelming time, of yeah. course. It's something new, and you have this little life to take care of. Tell me about the volunteers who, who give their time to come and do this. We have about 100, a little over 100 volunteers right now, and they'll serve a family. They're usually uh, moms themselves, not all of them, but frequently grandmas have had a lot of experience with kids, sometimes nurses, and they just want to know their neighbors and help a family that has a new baby who might be a little isolated mm -hmm. or um, just someone that they can talk to and bounce things off of that's a, a real live person. And, and so if someone watching right now is in the radius that you serve, what's your advice to them if they want to go about just finding that volunteer help just to get a few hours of help a week? Yeah, so um, they can call our Good Beginnings office or we have a website, gbuv.org for Good Beginnings Upper Valley. Um, then they can request a volunteer from their area and we'll find someone that lives near them and match them up. And the same volunteer will visit for all 12 weeks. So they really develop a rapport with that woman and, and you know, can really feel comfortable to ask questions. And, right, and yeah. what have you heard from par new parents about what they need in that time? Many feel quite isolated. There's an overabundance of information uh, coming their way through blog sites and websites and Facebook pages, but often not so much um, human contact because those first weeks can be isolating. So um, having someone to talk to reassures them in a way that sometimes reading all that overwhelming information can um, put a little stress in their life. So talking to someone and getting their advice, how they did it and things they encountered is really helpful. Well, that's wonderful. Thank yeah. you so much for coming in, yeah, Karen. Nice to meet you. Thank and you. Uh, if you'd like to see this interview again, it will be up on our website, wmur.com, after the show.